Should you be wearing your contacts during the current pandemic? We'll get into why or why not in this video. Hang around. What's up guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD, and today we're gonna to be looking at whether or not you should be wearing your contact lenses during the current pandemic. We'll talk about why or why not and why this is even an issue. If you guys do end up finding any value in this video or finding it helpful, consider tickling the YouTube algorithm and gently just crush that like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel. So the question today is, should you be wearing your contact lenses during the current pandemic? Let's see. So the reason for this video kind of came up from some different news articles that I've come across and I'm gonna share those with you right now. So this first article is from CNN and if you look here at the very top of the article, it says, focus on this contact lens wearers of the world to reduce the spread of the pandemic virus that causes COVID-19. Experts suggest it's time to put your contact lenses on the shelf and dazzle the world with your frames. And then they go on to say that wearing glasses can help stop touching your face, according to the AAO. We'll get into that in a minute. Then go on to say that basically wearing contact lenses, you touch your face all day and that you're constantly touching your eye. You rub your eyes, rub your face, all these things. And then they go on to also say that glasses may provide more protection against particles in the air. And then here's another article actually from Fox News where they say coronavirus advice for contact lens wearers includes switching to glasses. And they say things like contact lens wearers are being advised to switch to glasses amid the novel coronavirus outbreak as doing so may lessen the urge to touch your eyes. The AAO is giving this advice. They say in extremely rare instances, COVID-19 may cause pink eye. And in this instance, the virus may be spread by touching fluid from an infected person's eyes or from objects that carry the fluid. We talked about that in a previous video. They then go on to say contact lens wearers may be more prone to touching their eyes than those who wear the glasses. Uh, those who wear glasses, as a result, a change in routine may help to stave off contracting the illness, at least through the eyes. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. So that's two articles, one from CNN, one from Fox News. And then here's a third article from the newyorkdailynews.com that says contact lens users should switch to glasses during coronavirus pandemic experts say so if we go down and we look at this article too they say contact lens wearers can observe another rule to possibly reduce the spread of the novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19 basically switching to glasses for a while they then go on to cite the American Academy of Ophthalmology saying again contact lens wearers touch their eyes on average more than the average person Consider wearing glasses more often, et cetera, et cetera. They quote Dr. Sanal Tui, an ophthalmologist and spokesperson of the American Academy of Ophthalmology. Um, we'll look into that in a minute. Um, they say substituting glasses for lenses can decrease irritation and force you to pause before touching your eyes. So we have three different articles from three different news sites basically saying that to reduce the spread of infection and from possibly contracting it, through the eyes that you should stop wearing glasses. So let's look into that just a little bit further. Let's actually go to the American Academy of Ophthalmology or AAO's website and see what they say about it. I'll link all of this down below so you can read it for yourself. All these articles, um, some of the studies we'll go over and then also the uh, link to the American Academy of Ophthalmology website all down below in the description. Quote, it's important to remember that although a lot of concern about coronavirus, common sense precautions can significantly reduce your chance of getting infection. Uh, so wash your hands a lot, follow good contact lens hygiene and avoid touching or rubbing your nose, mouth, and especially your eyes. Um, and that is from Dr. Sonal Tuli. She's the spokesperson that they referenced in those um, news articles, and she is an ophthalmologist, I believe at the University of Florida. Um, and then if we go down, it says, if you wear contact lenses, switch to glasses for a while. So this is straight off the American Academy of Ophthalmology website. They say, contact lens wearers touch their eyes more than the average person. Quote, consider wearing glasses more often, especially if you tend to touch your eyes a lot when your contacts are in. Substituting glasses for lenses can decrease irritation and force you to pause before touching your eyes. That's Dr. Tooley. They then go on to also cite another reason, not just uh, the fact that you touch your eyes less when you don't wear contacts and when you wear glasses instead. The second reason that they give is that um, it adds a layer of protection. It acts like a shield basically to protect uh, viral particles that may be aerosolized from getting into your eye. They say corrective lenses or sunglasses can shield your eyes from infected respiratory droplets. They don't provide 100% security. Um, the virus can still reach your eyes from the exposed sides, tops, and bottoms. If you're caring for a sick patient or potentially ex uh, or potentially exposed person, safety goggles may offer a stronger defense. We won't get into that right now. But those are basically the two reasons that the American Academy of Ophthalmology is citing for 
basically switching out of contact lenses and into glasses. The first one being that you touch your eyes less when you're wearing glasses as opposed to contact lenses. And the second reason is glasses act kind of like a shield to prevent aerosolized particles from getting in your eye. So the question that came up for me with this that they didn't really address on the American Academy of Ophthalmology website uh, page was whether or not the virus could live in contacts or contact solution um, from an infected person. So we know that adenoviruses are one of the most common causes of the highly contagious pink eye, and we know that adenoviruses can live in contacts, and if a person who has an adenoviral conjunctivitis wears their contacts while they have the virus, that they can actually reinfect themselves with it at a later time if they don't get rid of those contacts. So a lot of times people who have adenoviral conjunctivitis will tell them to stay out of the contacts, and actually get rid of those contacts, get rid of that contact case. That way you don't reinfect yourself with the virus later on. So we know that coronavirus can be found in the ocular secretions of patients with coronavirus that have conjunctivitis. There's a study that I'll link down below in the description where they actually looked at about 30 patients who were COVID positive and they tested their ocular secretions to see if the coronavirus could be um, essentially amplified through PCR from the ocular secretions. They found that only one of the 30 patients did have the virus in their tears, and that patient was the only one who had an active conjunctivitis, meaning red teary eye. So only the patient with an active conjunctivitis were they able to culture virus from the tears. The other 29 patients who had COVID but did not have active conjunctivitis did not have the virus in their tears, only that one patient with active conjunctivitis. So that being said, it may be unlikely that a person who has the virus is actively shedding it in their tears if they don't have an active conjunctivitis. But we really don't have a lot of research or data on whether or not coronavirus can survive in contact lenses, in contact lens solution, or if it's actually killed by those contact lens solution or the hydrogen peroxide solution. Um, there is a study looking at whether or not adenovirus lives in contacts even after um, you put it in contact solution or clean your contacts with hydrogen peroxide solution and the adenovirus can live through both basically and that's why we tell people just to throw your contact lenses away because the adenovirus is still there. We don't know whether or not coronavirus can live in contacts that way or not but if you have a active conjunctivitis regardless of whether or not you have COVID you should get rid of your contact lenses and stay out of them for sure. There is also an article cited on the American Academy of Ophthalmology website um, that is from The Lancet, and I'll link to that down below, that is titled 2019 NCoV, Transmission Through the Ocular Surface Must Not Be Ignored. It says, in this article, as ophthalmologists, we believe that transmission of 2019 NCoV through the eyes was ignored. On January 22nd, a member of the National Expert Panel on Pneumonia reported that he was infected by 2019 NCoV during the inspection in Wuhan. He wore an N95 mask, but did not wear anything to protect his eyes several days before the onset of pneumonia. Uh, Wong complained of redness of the eyes, unprotected exposure of the eyes to COVID-19 or to uh, 2019 NCoV as they were calling it at the time in the Wuhan fever clinic might have allowed the virus to infect the body. Now this is just a report in the Lancet of just kind of an anecdotal case, um, but they do cite it on the American Academy of Ophthalmology website. That's why I mention it and I will link it down below. So in summary here, should you be basically not wearing your contacts right now and just switching over to glasses. So I think that the Academy makes a good point here that if you can switch to glasses and stay out of contacts just while all this is going on, you probably will be a little bit better off, just a little bit safer. In general, wearing glasses is almost always gonna be safer than wearing contact lenses. There are a lot of problems that come along with wearing contact lenses, especially infection related. I see a lot of them in the emergency room and they often do not end well, um, but those are often more severe bacterial infections and fungal infections. But with this virus, you might be at a little bit uh, of a safer position if you can actually stay out of the contacts for a little while. Just switch over to glasses if you have that option. If you don't have that option and you've got to wear your contacts for whatever reason, then just make sure that you're washing your hands extremely well before touching your eyes, before taking your contacts out or putting your contacts in, and make sure that you're really disinfecting them well. And I will link down below to an article from the AAO that they talk about how to care for your contacts and uh, keep them clean. But during this pandemic, during this COVID-19 outbreak, maybe consider switching to glasses if you have the option. If you guys did find any value in this video, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll try to keep you guys updated with the current pandemic and the COVID-19 outbreak uh, as it relates to the eye and as things develop and kind of just keep you up to date 
with the AAO's website as they update it and give new recommendations. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it did help some. As always, I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD, and I will see you guys in the next one.